Hi, I'm Larry Black, and today we're looking back. About 20 years ago, I had an idea to get a room filled with country music people, singers, songwriters, put together 30 of them. They love to tell stories. They love to share with each other. And today, they get to share with you. This is Looking Back with Larry Black. One of the most fun things about looking back is looking back. And I was looking back at Johnny Russell. Johnny Russell was on several of our first Country's Family Reunion videos. This was the very first one. And he talked about country music and the golden age. Can I just say something before I... I it's very special to me being here with, with all you people <laughs> because I've, I've known y'all, known of you before I knew you, and, I, and I've loved you. And the first person that ever said, why don't you come to Nashville to me was Jimmy Dickens when I was 12 years old. Wow. And, uh, Could we talk, Dickens? <laughs> worked, uh, worked with Dale when we were in California, with Gene when I was a teenager. He was three and I was six. <laughs> and uh, to just be here among this group means an awful lot to me. But I got to thinking yesterday that we came up in a time I don't care what they say about how successful country music is today, but we came up and we lived in the golden years of country music. Amen. I, never, I never got to meet Hank Williams, but most of y'all did, a lot of you did. But knowing and working with Dickens and Kitty and Johnny and all of y'all that are here, but also Farron Young and Webb Pierce and Hank Snow, and, and Roy Acuff and Minnie Pearl. There's never going to be people like that again. And that's not to put the young ones that are in it down. It's like Carl Smith said. You know, somebody told him, said, well, y'all had more fun than we do. And he said, well, y'all don't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but but we, we, have, we have a camaraderie together. We've, we've lived together, we've worked together, we've traveled together, and they don't do that today. We were raised on Hank, and we were yeah. raised on uh, many, we were raised on these people Ernest we've been talking Doug. about. They were raised on the Eagles and the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, and that's the difference right there. Mm -hmm. Every that's house it. I've ever bought, the Beatles paid for. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, we, but we really, honestly, and, and it can never be repeated, we live in the greatest time that country music has ever known. Or will ever know. Or will ever know. Well, there was an awful lot of closeness in those cars, more than just physical closeness. I mean, You had to get along. I mean, we were in dress. We'd go to a coliseum, and instead of everybody being on their own bus, we'd be in one dressing room. Gene Shepard said, turn around, boys. i got to change clothes. And, uh, and that... That brings you close together. Yeah. It's we're all very fortunate to, have, to have been a part. And of those that. of you that had buses, when there was people like me, you'd let me ride on your bus, and you know. And, uh, <laughs> Don't pay no attention to what she says. <laughs> What'd you say, Sadie? I don't think the microphone picked you up. I came up in the air when I didn't ask him to turn around. <laughs> from you guys. <laughs> I, told you, I told you it was the golden age. <laughs> We're going to be back with more Looking Back next week. Make sure you're there. Remember to remember. Oh, and subscribe.